Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So I am Meg from Lovely Jubbly Furniture. And if you don't know what I do, I paint furniture and refinish it. So I do a lot of furniture makeovers. And if you like this video and all my other videos, please subscribe to my channel and like this one. So today I am showing you how to transform two cane chairs. Now you can do this with any chair that you have. I have fabric on these ones, so I will be showing you how to put the fabric or new fabric onto the seats. So let's get started. This is how they started off. And I got these two chairs for $30 for both on Facebook Marketplace. And that is a really good deal. So I had to get them. They did have stains on the covers. So obviously the material had to be replaced. So underneath both chairs was this other material that had to come off and the staples were really difficult to remove. So I just tore off the material because I will be replacing it. And if you can't find this material, which I can't, you can also use landscaping filter cloth, which is an awesome thin film of fabric that will cover underneath all of the extra material that's literally hanging down. So you can cover that with that. Then you can take off the seat like I did with four screws that were in all corners. Just used my screwdriver to remove those and it came off pretty easy except that last one, that screw just would not come out, but it eventually did. And this is what it looks like. So I did this to both of the seats and then I got a 220 grit sandpaper disc and sanded the entire chair, both chairs. Now I made sure that I got every single area and corner because you do not want paint to not adhere and then peel in certain places. So make sure that you get all of the areas of the chair underneath and everything. Then once I had sanded them down, or scuff sanded I should say, I cleaned them with Windex. So I just used paper towel, you can use a lint-free cloth or a rag. Make sure you get the cane if your chairs have cane or details. You just want to remove all of the dust. So the wood on these chairs had a tobacco smell, so I wanted to use this spray called Kills Primer Spray. This is probably my most favorite spray to use. I use it for little spots of bleed through, but you can also use it for getting rid of those nasty smells, especially if they're strong and you can't remove them with anything else. This stuff will do it, do the job. So just make sure that you get all of the areas like I did. And I think I went through probably two cans, which I don't normally do, but I was covering the two chairs with this product. And they're not, they're not expensive at all. So then I, once it was dry, I then sanded it with 600 grit sandpaper. Now I wanted that extra protection and coverage, so I used my Wagner sprayer to spray on Zinzer Bin 123 primer, making sure that I got all areas. And I do have a video on my channel all about my Wagner sprayer, how to use it, and what my settings were. You can check that out by clicking the link above. So this sprayer is really easy to use. This is what they look like after the two coats have been primer and the spray. Then it was time to spray the paint. So I do water down the primer and paint. I just add a little bit of water. I, that, again, that's in my video. So here, you're just gonna make sure that you get all of the legs, the corners, edges, and really provide a good coverage. You don't wanna be missing any spots. So I let that paint dry. Once it had dried, like I said before, I use 600 grit or 1000 grit sandpaper or a sanding block to sand in between every single coat, except the last top coat coat. But it provides a really smooth finish when you're sanding in between coats. And I sanded the cane as well, just to make it smooth. 
I then sprayed on the top coat. I use Country Chic Paint Clear Coat to spray and I don't water that down. It is thin enough to spray. I did about two coats of the top coat. And again, I had sanded in between each top coat, except the last one. Here is the fun part. So I made sure that I had measured out two pieces of fabric to cover both of the bottoms like this. Now make sure that you have a little bit of extra fabric on the edges so that you can pull that around onto your wooden frame and you can staple that in. So on the edges, I made sure that I didn't have any folds. I only had one fold for every corner. Now I did have my husband help me with this because I had to hold the fabric and pull it tight while he stapled, as you can see right here. Just be careful you move your hands further away. And just you're just going to staple along the edges and then afterwards you'll cut off all that ex excess fabric, so don't worry about that. So as I went around, I just folded it in that corner and make sure there were no other creases and just make sure it's really tight. So this is what we did on every side. As you can see here, I cut off all the excess fabric. You can probably go right halfway probably to the staples. I let some hang because again, like I said, we'll be putting that extra fabric over the bottoms. So here is another look, a last look of what they did look like. And they sure did get a great makeover and they now look absolutely amazing. I love the cane and love how they turned out. And here they are. This fabric is so beautiful, vibrant colors. The cane looks amazing in the crinoline paint. The finish is smooth. It just looks so beautiful. I love how they turned out. I hope that you enjoyed that video and I will be coming out with a new video next week. So I hope that you can find a chair that you can refinish or paint and it will look awesome in your home and new again. So thank you for watching and I hope that you would subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Music